What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Oklos. My name is Splattercat. Happy to have you here today as we hang out for a little while and check out our little mob management game. We're going to be restarting today with another playthrough to see if maybe we can keep from getting, oh, that little cheer. But he's like, yay, all right, we're going to riot again, hooray. I've always fancied being a part of a riot, but I've never gotten to be a part of one. My life experiences have been stunted. Stunted. It'd be so much cooler if I had been part of a riot, but I guess not. That sheep, stop eating that cabbage bush. And come over here and join my party. You know you want to. We got a dingo in right there. Good. Every mob needs a dingo. Grab a couple more people over here. They said there's persistent heroes that, like, stand around the Acropolis or something. I don't know. Persistent heroes, where are you at? Oh, I'm showing a little bit of shoulder with that toga right there. Well, welcome on back to Oklos. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I do like this game quite a bit, and so I'm looking forward to playing it with all of you. Oh, yeah, I figured out the collapse button. You got to bring people in with the space bar. It wasn't specifically in the tutorial, I don't think. So Apollo, Poseidon, it looks like basically you gotta fight everybody. I don't know who's in the game right now. The last time I played it was mostly just Apollo, but it looks like they added Hera to the game as well, or maybe they unlock as you play, I'm not really sure. Mob management. Choose my philosopher, I wanna be Gandhi. Give me Gandhi. Yeah, there we go. Now I'm Gandhi. See, everybody knows that Gandhi preached violence destruction and the annihilation of the social structures that surround us. He fought hard. They need one that's like Malcolm X, too. We need Malcolm X as a philosopher in this group. Ah, uh, where was I? Oh, yeah, the next city the mob went into. It was like this. So we're back in Delphi. Hopefully we do a good job this time. Give me attack powers. Yes, I'm gonna try and get soldiers here because they hurt more. Oh my god. My philosopher already got one-shotted. Ain't that a shame. Kill that thing. Slay it. Destroy. Keep the mob hot. Keep that shit popping on the block. I gotta learn to keep track of... See, Gandhi died quick. Unfortunately, Gandhi was not known for his high defense value. We got him. This guy's trying to rush past. Get him, mob. Get him. This is the reason why I have friends, so I never have to fight fair ever again. That's the whole point in friendship. That's why we invented it. So that fighting fair was no longer an option. Fighting fair has this weird tendency to end up with me dead. Yeah, we killed a griffin. See? Through the power of the mob, anything is available. Okay, when was the last time you killed a griffin? I bet it wasn't inside of... You weren't in a mob, huh? See, that's the secret right there. That's what they don't tell you about slaying griffins. Is that you gotta bring the mob with you. Oh, our mob is getting hotter. It's getting hotter. Get that wizard. Slay him. Don't allow him to do his crazy magics. Force him to cease. And then we shall also destroy all of these clothes drying racks over here. And also this book holster, because I don't believe in learning. We're going to break this tree. We're going to break this weird Greek bong. Perfect. And that leaves us with two enemies off on this left-hand side. We're going to bum rush them. That is to say, we're going to approach them backwards, bum forward. Stop trying to Kamehameha. He's trying to get me with his Kamehameha wave again. I don't know what to do with this stuff. Nothing makes people happy like breaking ancient statues. That's always the best way to <laughs> apply your talents in your free time. No, our mob is depressing. No. I definitely think we need a we I definitely think we need some kind of like boost to our morale in order to keep it up higher a lot longer. This guy we need slaves. Like do we have any slaves in the group so we can pick up items? Hmm. I don't think that we do. All right, on to the next zone, whatever. We'll make up for it over here. What has he got for us? We can get Cadmus who increases our HP. We can get Terpander if we had 5 of the blue guys, but we don't have 5 of the blue guys. It looks like Cadmus is our only option right now. Hopefully he'll bring some of those chocolate eggs that his company makes because they'll be delicious. He boosts our max HP by 25%. Cadmus has joined the mob with his super baller beard and also his golden hairdo piece thing. Yeah, pick up some more soul. We need some more grunts. We need some more grunts for the mill here. I need more people to die on behalf of my mobbery. That is to say, activities including but not limited to running around in a mob, destroying stuff. Get that Moo Moo on our team too. Team Moo. Hashtag Team Moo. He's going to try, but he's going to fail. I'm going to kick over this tree because it makes me feel better. That's right, tree punching. It's like Minecraft all over again, but in Greece. Break stuff. Break things. I demand you do it. Good job, mob. Got him. Oh, the numbers are dwindling on the part of our foes. 
Apparently I can perfect block too. I had no idea. So now you can time your- How is our mob depressed when they're getting to murder and cause mayhem? What's so depressing about murdering and causing mayhem? Oh, we killed him before he could get the job done. He's doing his power thrust. You gotta be careful. When those random giant Spartan guards that are like 600 feet tall start doing their power thrust. You just gotta watch out for it. Break that fountain. I don't like it. He's like vomiting water at me and it makes me feel like I need to take a bath and that's not acceptable. I remember the mob getting heated a lot faster in the older version that I played. They don't seem to get heated quite as quickly anymore. They tend to stay kind of... There you go. I think it goes up like as they deal damage or whatever. It used to be like filled up all the time. That's my guess on why they nerfed it. Your, your mob meter used to fill up really, really easily. Now it seems like it's quite a bit more difficult to fill up. You guys should probably attack these guys who are trying to kill the leader here. Without me, you guys have no direction. You're just aimless. You run around and you break fences and stuff, but you don't really actually defy the gods. We need some real blasphemous defiance in here. Like, we need apostasy. We need destruction. The falling away from. Are we done here? Are we going to the next area? We're going to the next area. Let's get up out of here. Bounce, chicka bounce, chicka bounce, chicka bounce. Oh man, there was no vendor. That's unfortunate. Destroy this statuary. It deserves it. Poor craftsmanship. Nudity! It must be censored. By violence and hurting. Also, maybe a little punching. Perfecto. I'm just going to break all this stuff in here because our mob needs to get better at killing stuff. See, why are they getting more depressed when they're breaking things? This is a fundamental concern for me. Oh yeah, heal the mob too. Make the mob feel better. Maybe the mob's morale goes down the more wounded it is. It goes down easier. So as we're like limping around like holding our guts inside of our bodies. Maybe that's got something to do with it. Oh, we just picked up a new mobster. Get him! Yeah, that guy's going down. So is this one. Get him! There it is. That's exactly what I was looking for. We got a couple more down in here. Slay them. I think the yellow ones don't actually fight you. I think they just run for it. Attack! Why is no one attacking? There you go. See, it looks like I kind of have to drag them into like the middle of the grouping. And that seems to make them happy. Also, murdering guards seems to get the job done pretty nicely. Now we got to spend some time here. Destroy that bong. There we go. The sensor, whatever you want to call it. That guy just did 124 damage, and that worries me. Everybody stand inside the weed dispenser. It'll make you feel better, I promise. Oh, can we break this giant witch's hovel over here? What does this do? I've never seen this before. Oh, what has happened? What have I done? The Delphi Oracle, and then the mob faced the rival. It was prophesied that one day be crushed by an angry mob, or the other ways around. I don't know. Prophecies are confusing. Alright, everybody, we gotta do this thing. Aw, oh, dude, what? It's so hard to keep track of your little guy. He needs, like, an aura or something. Because, like, I start staring at the center of the mob, and then I just get murdered. Ugh. Back to the beginning. Aw, oh, it didn't save my guy. I was hoping it would save that I wanted to be Gandhi every time. I mean, Gandhi's in the group now, so that's cool. I mean, we'll make it work. I will apply myself... I don't think we need mob management right now. I think we're good. I wonder if you can have two players in this game. That'd be kind of cool. Have like two mobs side by side fighting it out. Although, how would you keep track? That's the thing. Is like it's such a chaotic, confusing game. Ooh, free wild stock. Yeah, free soldiers too. Break that sign of Delphi. It deserves it. Grab all these people and add them to the mob. Can I break this thing over here? I cannot. It was worth a shot, I think. Methinks it was worth some kind of attempt, but ah, what are you gonna do? Oh, this guy's right here. He's trying to get me. Slay him. Yes! Defeat him for the glory of... I don't know. What's my name? I don't have a name. I'm just some nameless philosopher that got pissed off at some god decided to shine his boot on the backs of my followers who were apparently probably paying some kind of stipend in order to be there for the lecture. That's how these guys used to earn their money back in the days. They would do lectures all over the place. Ancient philosophers. And then would just take, like, tips or whatever afterwards or something. 
Although a lot of them just kind of lived in crippling poverty because apparently that was the cool thing to do back then. I be like, forget that noise. You know what's awesome? Food. You know what's even better? Clothing. Okay, food's better than clothing, but still, not being nude is pretty swell. Unless you're nude in the right location. I think that's the big hitching factor right there. You gotta be nude in the right place at the right time. Yes, continue the destruction. I don't know why I like disassembling grease like this, but it makes me happy. Deep down inside, I really enjoy destroying grease for some reason. I mean, we're all Greeks here. And who better to destroy Greece than a Greek? You know, we're all just hanging out, destroying ancient stuff that people probably want to see someday. Alright, so we can get the talking dog if we trade 15 animals. Our morale is up by 60. Oh, it's just for animals. Well, I feel like it would be a waste if I didn't. The talking dog has joined the mob. Every now and again, you need like a look. I guess it's a look who's talking now type deal. We're gonna make ourselves a couple of kids' films with talking animals named friendly things like Buddy or Tate. I don't know. Is Tate a friendly name? I don't know things about things anymore. Animal morale. I require you to be higher. Slay that wizard. He deserves it. I totally promise you. He totally deserves it. He's done so much bad stuff to non wizards. His muglification cannot be forgiven. Oh, I'm stuck on a tree. Stuck on a tree and they're trying to murder me. Damn it. This is why as a geologist I avoid foliage. There it is. See, we just gotta wipe some stuff out real fast down here. Go get that wizard too. Destroy him. Break this forest. Forget you, Smokey the Bear. You don't tell me what to do. You don't guilt trip me. Not today. Oh, no. Mob, stay on your grind. Stay on your grind, mob. Oh, shit. I think he just killed like half our party with one swing. It's okay because there's more guys. We can get more. We're going to be all right. We can rebuild this mob. We can make it stronger, sexier, greener, also bluier. Because there's some blue guys in the mob. I don't know. Stop blocking fireballs with your face, bro. There's a Spartan over here if we wanted to, like, poison one of our guys to get him. We've also got some kind of squat man. Stop eating meat off the ground. We would have so much more luck here if we... Do. Can we just have a mob rule where you're not allowed to eat meat off the ground? Can we just declare that? Stop eating meat off the ground? We are the Bong Bashers. I'm playing around with names for my group. I feel like the bong bashers would work for us, but I mean, I'm not married to it. We can spitball it. If you think we can make the branding stronger in a different direction, uh, I wouldn't fight it. I wouldn't fight it. We don't have any slaves, so actually we actually have one slave, so we can only carry one item with us. What do you do? You can trade five animals for five citizens, or five blue guys for five of something else. Eh. I mean, I would much rather just buy, like, a hero or something like that. I definitely think we could use one. Slay them! No more wizards! Kill them all! Let them no longer stand in my area! This is a no wizarding zone. Magic is verboten. Why is everyone in town just gathered around the communal bong all day every day? Seems like a pretty good deal for Greeks. Somebody's gotta foot the bill for that though. And my guess... is that it's probably costly in those old tax dollars or whatever. Well, I guess unless hemp manufacturing is better than it used to be, or better than it currently is, or something. Stop blowing up. I need you guys to stop destroying... Well, I need you to keep destroying out here. But what I mean is stop destroying crates and stuff. Oh, our mob is becoming more powerful. We are mighty. He cannot stop us, not even with his skeletal summons. There's still skeletons coming from the left-hand side, too, so my assumption is that there's somebody summoning skeletons over there. Oh, we've got this so hard. We've got this right now. Oh, wait, there's another wizard over here. Go get him. Slay him. I have once again lost track of my character. He's around here somewhere. There we go. You just gotta, like, run in one direction. It's your only hope when you're trying to control these dudes. We haven't been as... Shit. How was I stuck on a wall way back there? Ah. Yeah, we definitely need some kind of aura or something on our philosopher. It would make this whole process a little bit easier. 
keeping track of him has been actually the hardest thing I've been able to do this entire time. He's got that little thing next to his head when he's shouting, but like, how did I get so far off camera, you know? Yep, break some trees. It'll make you feel better, I promise. Maybe. And now we will go after Hera because she deserves it. Her and her ridiculous chain of casinos must die. Uh, I don't want to go down into poison meat land. No, thank you. It seems like it might be fatal for a large portion of my mob. Alright, so we can get Castor and Pollux if we wanted to trade in five of our soldiers. We can get Draculados if we wanted to get a healed everyone in the mob a little every time an enemy was killed. That's pretty good. I'll take that. And thus, Dracularos joined the mob. He healed everyone in the mob a little every time an enemy was killed. Huzzah! No, we're fighting more wizards again. It's going to be one of those wizarding worlds. Not sure how involved Harry Potter is going to be in this production, but... Hopefully we'll be able to get rid of some of these guys. Break some trees real fast to make me feel better. Yeah, there we go. Nothing like arboreal destruction to make the mob feel like it's actually accomplishing something. Grab a couple of these blue guys over here. Grab some of these red guys over here for attack power and for defense value. We've got another griffin coming in. He is going to try and do bad things to us. And I do not accept that, so I'm going to blow him up with a bomb the second he lands because we don't have time to deal with him right now. Continue the fight, my friends. Let not the fallen change your mind about the things that you are dedicated to. Stay the course. Arr. Also, slay those griffins. We can't have mythical beasts falling from the sky and trolling us like this. I think Dracularos might be one of the better choices I've ever made. Oh, we're already done with this place? Cool. Man, we went through that one quick. Like a knife through hot butter. Like a hot knife through hot butter? Like a knife of really... Apparently, we've got ourselves a whole bunch of weird skull things. I don't know what they do, but I think they make us into ghosts or something. We're looking pretty ghostly right now. We gotta do a careful boogie dance over here. Otherwise, we ain't gonna make it. Aha! The perfect block. Heal me, Draculos! Slay that large Spartan, too, with this fuzzy little head ploof. I don't like what's happening right now. And we need to start winning some fights. There it is. Does he heal my Philosopher, too, every single time I do this stuff? I mean, we could go fight the Oracle again. We could go inside the little hobble hole thing and see if the Oracle was defeatable. Slay it! Kill it! Destroy! There we go. Perfect. Yeah, let's go back down into the little hobble hole thing and see if we can fight the oracle. It seems like fun. Into the hobble hole to fight against things that are far more powerful than us. Time to die, oracle. I wonder if I have to destroy the obelisks. I bet I have to destroy the obelisks. We're just going to stay moving here as much as possible. Oh, shit. I messed up. Here, get that guy. Get that guy. He is on me, the most important person in the entire mob. So please destroy him. Also destroy the wizards who are apparently really, really, really dedicated to summoning more skeletons to mess with me. Oh, I broke one of his obelisks. How does he feel about that? I may need some more homies, though. We're looking a little bit, we're looking a little bit light on homeboys right now. It may be time to, yeah, you guys get over here, man. What are you doing? Come on, mob. It's time to mob up. I don't know what this does, but screw it. Let's use it. And also maybe one of those two. To be fair, our mob is looking a tad of a bit more violent now. And if we can get rid of all of his ads, we should be in much better shape. 
We've lost like half of our force though because I wasn't paying attention to my blocking. Break those. Kill some skeletons because they don't know us like that. Come on. More skeletal slayage. Destroy that. I wonder if we just like win. Oh, we're frenetic now. That's cool. We're bringing out new adjectives. Are we actually damaging that? Can I do anything over here? I don't feel like I'm actually damaging the thing that I want to damage. Make the mob mighty. Maybe we can't destroy the last one until the mob is like fully frenzied. Mega chaotic mob. Alright, mega chaotic mob, get over here. Are we breaking it? I don't know that we're breaking it right now. Maybe we have to kill off all the supplementary mobs or something. Mega Chaotic Mob! He's got a shield. So no, that is not going to work. Huh. I'm at a bit of a loss for what I'm supposed to be doing right now. We don't have anybody to pick up the bomb. Oh, we do now. Okay, bring this up here. We're going to try with the bomb. Bring the bomb! The bomb didn't work. Why is this not working? Why am I not destroying you? They're punching, but nothing's happening. I wonder if it's bugged. That or I gotta kill the yellow guys first. And then once the yellow guys have been dropped, then maybe? Yeah, it looks like it put an X on the map now. So maybe you have to destroy, like, a requisite amount of enemies before... Come on, Mega! Come on, come on, Mega Chaotic Mob! Back to this side. They're fighting us tooth and nail, and also bone. They threw extra things into the metaphorical saying. I don't think it's working. You guys are the worst combatants ever. Kill that guy. Yeah, I don't think it's working. I think it may be bugged or something. Huh. Cause this obelisk is definitely not falling down. The rest of them went down easy. Weird. Yeah, it must be bugged, I guess. Kinda disappointing. Either that or we lack the guys that can actually damage it, but we've got plenty of soldiers, so I don't see why that would be the case. Yeah, I don't see that as being the case. Well, shit. That's disappointing. We're finally going to make progress, too. All I wanted to do was kill an oracle. I was so excited about it, too. I don't know. It played music or something. Can I just, like, leave? Oh, maybe it's not implemented yet, and you can just leave. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here for the next episode of Oklos. So maybe they just let you leave because it's not implemented or completed yet, possibly. It's just got, like, that last little bit and piece that needs to be taken care of. I will see you all in the next episode 
of Oculus, where we will continue to, or at least we didn't lose our game. I was about to be really upset if I lost my game because Draculos is the shit. He's probably my favorite guy I've ever picked up so far. And I pick up guys all the time, so I've got a pretty wide vocabulary for what I look like when, or what I look for anyways, when it comes to picking up guys. I will see you all next time. Bye, everybody.